scientists have identified over 1.2 million animal species, but they believe there could be a total of 8.7 million species on Earth. With such a vast array of life forms, it's understandable that things can become perplexing. On occasion, similar creatures belonging to the same order are classified differently due to their habitat or behavior, while other times, unrelated species evolve in comparable ways. Consequently, it can be challenging to discern the distinctions between these creatures. Presented here are our favorite pairs of bewildering animals and tips on how to tell them apart. Butterflies versus Moths Butterflies and Moths belonging to the order Lepidoptera, exhibit similarities such as the presence of scales that cover their bodies and wings. However, there are several physical and behavioral distinctions between these two types of insects. Let's begin with their antennae. Butterflies possess club-shaped antennae that culminate in a bulb-like structure, whereas moths generally have comb-like or feathery antennae. Moving on to their wings, Butterflies commonly display larger and more vibrant colors, while moths are typically smaller and exhibit duller hues with intricate patterns of zigzags or swirls that help camouflage them. Moreover, when at rest, butterfly wings fold up vertically over their backs, while moth wings form a tent-like shape and cover their abdomen. Finally, in terms of behavior, butterflies are diurnal creatures, actively flying during the day, while moths are nocturnal flying and feeding primarily at night. Bees versus wasps. Bees and wasps are both part of the order Hymenoptera and belong to the suborder Apocrita, which is characterized by a distinct narrow waist. However, there are notable differences between them. When it comes to physical appearance, bees possess robust and hairy bodies, along with flat rear legs. On the other hand, wasps have smoother and shiny bodies, with a narrow waist that connects the thorax and abdomen. They also have slender, cylindrical shaped legs. Their behaviors also set them apart. Bees are primarily pollinators, devoting a significant portion of their lives to visiting various plants and flowers for gathering and distributing pollen. In contrast, wasps act as predators or parasites of other insects. Their sleeker and more streamlined bodies are adapted for hunting. Furthermore, wasps tend to exhibit more aggressive behavior, while bees are generally more docile. Their nesting habits also differ. Wasps construct papery nests, whereas bees live in geometric wax hives. Additionally, when it comes to stinging, honeybees are known to die after stinging someone, as their stingers become lodged in the target. In contrast, wasps can sting multiple targets without losing their stingers. Crows versus Ravens Although crows and ravens may bear a resemblance and share high intelligence as birds, their behavior, habitat, and physical characteristics serve to clearly differentiate them from each other. Upon close observation, one can notice distinctive physical traits that set ravens apart from crows. Ravens possess fluffier feathers around their head and particularly at their throat. Additionally, they have thicker beaks with a more pronounced curve at the end. End, distinguishing them from the beaks of crows. In terms of flight, examining the tail feathers provides a helpful indicator. Crows have tail feathers that are uniformly even in length, giving their tails a fan-shaped appearance during flight. Conversely, ravens possess tail feathers of varying lengths, resulting in a wedge or diamond-shaped tail during flight. Another distinguishing feature is their flight pattern. Ravens typically soar, while crows tend to flap their wings. Notably, Differences can also be observed when these birds are on the ground. Crows predominantly walk, while ravens employ a combination of walking and hopping. Hawks versus eagles. Imagine you're gazing up at the sky and spot a majestic, gliding bird. It's clearly a raptor, but identifying its specific species can be challenging particularly from a distance. This difficulty often arises when differentiating between raptors like eagles, hawks, and other large avian species. One of the most apparent distinctions lies in their size. Eagles are notably larger than hawks and boast longer wingspans. While hawks may share a similar appearance, Keen observation reveals that their wings tend to have a more rounded shape. Moreover, hawks possess short, broad, rounded tails and exhibit a stocky build. On the other hand, eagles present a more substantial overall appearance, with straighter wings that are occasionally described as plank-like. Both hawks and eagles soar at great heights, utilizing thermals, columns of rising warm air, 
to their advantage. Hawks sometimes soar with their wings held in a shallow V-shape called a dihedral, while eagles soar with flat or slightly raised wings. Shrimps versus Prawns In menus and everyday conversations, the terms shrimp and prawn are often used interchangeably, leading to the perception that they are virtually identical in appearance and taste. However, in reality, shrimp and prawns are two distinct creatures. So, how can we differentiate between them? First and foremost, their habitat sets them apart. Shrimp are typically found in saltwater environments, whereas prawns inhabit freshwater or brackish, moderately salty, water. In terms of size, prawns generally tend to be larger than shrimp. Moving on to their legs, shrimp possess two pairs of clawed legs, whereas prawns have three pairs of clawed legs. Another distinguishing factor lies in their gill structures. Shrimp feature lamellar gills, characterized by plate-like structures, while prawns have branching gills. Lastly, when it comes to reproduction, shrimps carry their eggs attached to the underside of their bodies, whereas prawns release their eggs directly into the water. Seals vs. Sea Lions You've likely encountered seals as adorable plush toys and sea lions as agile performers in circuses. Both are classified as pinnipeds, which means they are marine animals with fin-like feet. However, there are notable differences between them. Seals typically possess stubby, thinly webbed flippers for their front feet, each with a small claw on the end of its toes. In contrast, sea lions have larger flippers covered in skin. Seals are generally smaller and better adapted to aquatic life, often using belly crawling as a means of movement. Sea lions, on the other hand, are capable of walking on land using their flippers. Another distinguishing feature is the presence of external ears. Seals lack external ears, while sea lions have small flaps. When encountering a group of pinnipeds exhibiting boisterous behavior, you're likely observing sea lions, as they are social and vocal creatures. Seals, on the other hand, tend to be solitary and more reserved, generating less noise. Manatees versus dugongs. Manatees and dugongs, often referred to as sea cows, are beloved for their herbivorous diet and leisurely demeanor. These gentle creatures can be observed gracefully swimming with their powerful tails and flippers. However, there exists a significant distinction between dugongs and manatees in terms of their habitat. Dugongs exclusively inhabit saltwater environments and never venture into freshwater. On the other hand, manatees can be found in both fresh and saltwater habitats. Although they bear a striking resemblance, there are notable physical differences between the two species. Manatees possess horizontally oriented, paddle-shaped tails with a single lobe that moves up and down as they swim, resembling the shape of a beaver tail. In contrast, dugongs feature a fluked tail, characterized by two separate lobes that converge at the center. Additionally, the snout of a dugong is broad, short, and trunk-like, pointing downward with a mouth slit, which aids in feeding off the ocean floor. Manatees, on the other hand, have a divided upper lip and a shorter snout, allowing them to both gather food to eat and feed on plants growing at or near the water's surface. Crocodiles versus Alligators Crocodiles and alligators, both reptiles belonging to the order Crocodilia, bear numerous similarities. However, there are key distinctions between them that can be observed particularly in their head shape. Crocodiles exhibit longer heads that resemble a V-shape, while alligators possess shorter heads with a U-shape. Additionally, when an alligator closes its mouth, most of its teeth remain hidden, while a closed crocodile mouth reveals many teeth protruding outside along the jawline. In terms of appearance, crocodiles tend to have lighter colored skin compared to alligators. Moreover, Crocodiles are generally recognized as more aggressive in nature when compared to alligators, which are relatively more docile. Frogs versus toads. Frogs and toads share many similarities, but there are distinct differences between them. Firstly, it's worth noting that all toads are technically a type of frog and belong to the order Anura. So, if you refer to both as frogs, there's no need to worry about rib-biting consequences from us. Their physical appearances set them apart. Most frogs have smooth, moist skin that gives them a slimy appearance, whereas toads typically have dry, thicker skin with bumps. Frogs tend to have a narrow body shape and longer, more robust hind legs, enabling them to execute long, high jumps. Conversely, toads have a wider body structure and shorter, less powerful hind legs, resulting in small hops rather than extensive jumps. When it comes to their eyes, frogs have higher, rounder, and more bulging eyes, while toads possess lower, football-shaped eyes. Lastly, 
frogs require a habitat near water to survive, as they rely on water for various stages of their life cycle. In contrast, toads do not have such a stringent requirement and can survive in drier environments. Deers versus Antelopes To the untrained eye, deer and antelope may appear similar. Both are even toad ungulates and herbivores. However, there are several distinguishing factors between them. One of the simplest ways to differentiate the two is by examining their headgear. Antelopes possess horns, which both males and females grow. These horns come in various shapes, ranging from straight to curved, ridged, or twisted. However, antelope horns never branch. Antelopes primarily utilize their horns as a defense mechanism, using them to combat threats from predators or rival individuals within their herd. On the other hand, deer have antlers, which exhibit a branched structure. Only male deer grow antlers, while female deer do not possess any headgear. Antlers are shed each winter and regrow during the spring. Deer primarily employ their antlers to impress potential mates and assert dominance over other male counterparts during the mating season. When it comes to speed, most species of deer can reach speeds of up to 35 miles per hour, but only for short distances. Antelopes, however, are notably faster. Some antelopes can almost rival the cheetah, reaching speeds of around 55 miles per hour. Leopards versus jaguars. It's understandable why people often confuse jaguars and leopards due to their striking similarities. Both of these majestic creatures are robust big cats with spotted coats, known for their prowess in ambushing prey. However, there are distinct characteristics that set them apart. The easiest way to differentiate them is by considering their geographical location. Leopards inhabit Africa Africa, as well as certain parts of Asia, while jaguars roam throughout Central and South America. Beyond their habitats, these big cats exhibit other distinguishing behaviors. If we were to assign them superhero personas, leopards would be akin to Spider-Man, while jaguars would embody Aquaman. Leopards are unique among wild cats as they are known to drag their kills up into trees. This behavior serves to protect their food from potential theft by lions and other predators. On the other hand, the jaguar's superpower lies in its exceptional adaptability to aquatic environments. Among the seven big cat species, jaguars are the most at home in wet habitats, including flooded forests. However, the most significant distinction between these two lies in their rosettes their distinctive coat patterns. Jaguars typically possess rosettes with central spots, while leopards have plain rosettes without any central spots. This feature serves as the holy grail of differentiation between the two magnificent creatures. And that completes the list of pairs of animals mistaken for one another. What pair of animals confused you the most before? Or are there other pairs of confusing animals you would want to cover in another video? Let me know in the comment section. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.